I want to point out wood clothespins. These are almost $6 from Walmart and you get $60 for $1.25. If you bought nothing else in Dollar Tree, get yourself some clothespins. I love putting these in a beautiful vessel. It just makes it so pretty. And I want to know in the comments what you use clothespins for because my friends, I use these all over my house, not just in the laundry room. Welcome back to Do It On A Dime. Boy, do I have deals for you today. My laundry room is a spot of my house that I could not stand. I hadn't really touched it in a long time, and honestly, I was just shutting the door, letting laundry accumulate. I wanted to give it a complete refresh, bring you along for the makeover, and show you the amazing deals all in Dollar Tree. Three things you need from the laundry section at Dollar Tree. These over the door hooks, absolutely fantastic. Black metal organizers are the best and rival what you'll find in any other store for way more. They sell dryer balls at Dollar Tree. Awesome score. Here's how much they cost at Amazon. And they even sell mesh laundry bags. You get three for $1.25. I highly recommend these. What do you put in your mesh bags? I love to put undergarments in these as well as shoes. Another Catherine recommended score. And here's the super cool thing. If you bought all of these items full price, you'd spend $33.53 at Dollar Tree, just five bucks, and you won't sacrifice quality. But wait, there's more. Kathy, what do you wash in there? I use my little face wipes. Yeah. I wash my face with. Your face cleaning pads. Mine yeah. just like somehow end up like with the towels and then I'm like picking them out. It's way less organized than, than that. The washing machine doesn't eat them all. Yeah, they do get eaten. Good idea. Reusable Dollar Tree face pads are the best. And of course you've got to put it in the little $1.25 container. But I've got to show you this hack too. I want you to grab some trouser socks. Did you know if you get deodorant on your shirt, you can use these to remove it. Soap and water doesn't really work and the stain just kind of lasts. This takes all of it off. Pantyhose are another great hack. Definitely make sure you try this one in the laundry room. All you have to do is grab some Suavitel. My favorite scent is the complete. Like I do all the smell checks when I'm in store. And you're going to put this and water in a spray bottle. And you can use this to wrinkle release your clothes. Works like a charm. I don't like ironing. This is a known thing, okay? And with really wrinkly garments. I also want to point out these OxyClean pens. They're a great score from Dollar Tree. Any of their stain removers, I highly recommend. But the ratio for this wrinkle release is two parts water to one part fabric softener. Spray over your garment and then I run my hand along it and then I let it set out for about 10 minutes, all wrinkles be gone. You've gotta try this one. And be on the lookout for rogue name brands. In Sueño, fabric softener is vibe, like five star vibe. And this is a great deal at Dollar Tree. Yep, you gotta check the ounces. It's four cents an ounce at Dollar Tree and eight cents an ounce at other stores. Also, if you don't want to make your own, they do have wrinkle away spray. I just like how the DIY version smells better. But you also have to know that they have OxyDoll here. This is like the OxyClean dupe. Lots of you told me that this has actually been around the Dollar Tree a long time. My store just started carrying so much more of this. They've expanded this line to include all types of cleaners. But this laundry pre-wash works really well. And if you've got tough stains, this might not be your go-to, but I want to remind you of this. Okay, come here. Put a quarter cup of Pine Sol, yes, they sell it at Dollar Tree, right into your washing machine. I use this to launder my towels, any heavily greased or stained garments. And LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner also works on your garments. Yes, your clothes to remove blood. I'm not gonna show anything crazy on camera, but you can dilute this and use this as a pre-wash right on your garments. If you know, you know. And again, same price. This is 32 ounces for $1.25, and this is 20 ounces for $1.25. Which one are you picking? I mean, this comes with a spray bottle, but honestly, I end up transferring this most times because you have to dilute it anyway. Washing machine cleaner is expensive. This stuff works really well. Stick it in your machine for a quick refresh. Smells and stains, be gone. And now when it comes to the actual makeover, Here's the before. It's not about removing everything from the space, getting rid of everything. This is a quick refresh using all items that I found in this video and bringing the things I use to the forefront so I can find them easily. Okay, they have amazing woven baskets at the Dollar Tree. I love this. And I think my dryer balls will be so pretty in this. I do not like out for display to have a lot of plastic items. I like really quality pieces like this. And in the plus section, they have bigger baskets. Just hold on, I'm gonna show you them. They have them in stock, these wicker baskets. I love these. So these are $5, but a really good deal. And they match the smaller ones that I found. Ready for the hack? Grab some $1.25 chopping mats. They're two to a pack. And I just cut this into a circle and put it at the bottom of the basket. Then I can corral all of my cleaning products and spills aren't going to ever leak through. 
So I'm gonna use these to corral some of my laundry detergent. And I wanna talk about the Dollar Tree Plus section. So the Dollar Tree Plus section continues to be rolled out in so many places around the country. And honestly, you have to be careful here because not everything in this section is a good deal, but some things are. So this, Extra detergent is a good deal. This is highly rated and compared to Walmart, you're going to save 78 cents. However, you wanna be careful with some of the other items. For example, all free and clear, you're not going to save. This is less than $5 at Walmart. I had to talk about detergent in this video and I wanna know your experience with LA's Totally Awesome. It actually has really good reviews on Dollar Tree's website. Lots of people saying that this is such a great cleaning product and I would love to know if you use it because this one is only $1.00. 25. This I'm just, I'm going to save because I'm going to do a little hack with these. I like the Unstoppables. They do have like a single dose in a packet for $1.25 and they have a bigger dose for $5. But this, I don't put this in my laundry. I just have it out in the laundry room. Kind of hidden. Pop these in some mini drawstring bags and you can put this in any spot of the laundry room. I also like to decant all of my powders from baking soda to the Oxidol and I tied some bows on the top of these. I actually got these from Walmart and I already had them on hand. Our laundry room needs space for some extra storage, some cleaning products, and honestly, all of this stuff is so bright and colorful and it feels chaotic. So I wanna share with you a Dollar Tree hack. I pulled this extra fabric from my stash. It's actually an old curtain. I want like a clean open space. We're gonna do it from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells sticky back fastener dots. I love these. So you can find these in the crafter square and you put them together, kind of like a little sandwich. And I put them a few inches apart along the fabric. I can't wait to show you how this space turns out. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found in a house? That the you, weirdest that thing bought? I've ever found in cleaning someone else's house. No, like you've bought the house, something was left behind. Oh. Creepy porcelain dolls <laughs> in the attic. Like the, our first house that we ever bought, there were these porcelain dolls just chilling in the attic and they didn't have eyes. And she had a bunch of them. Like, I think she must've like painted these dolls, but like to move into a house and I was already afraid of attics and to go upstairs and to see porcelain dolls without eyes. I was like, I told Charlie, I'm like, I think it's like, is this like a joke? Sometimes when we're cleaning, we find weird things, or maybe in a house we buy, especially if you're renting, who knows? I would love to hear from you in the comments if you've had a similar experience. But I just put this up with the sticky back dots, and you can see how it kind of drapes in a fun way. I love that this is removable too. And I've got to keep it organized under there, so here's what I did. Everything is down low today. I love these stacking containers. This is gonna be really great in the bottom of the laundry room. I'm excited about it. Fabulous deal, Beats Walmart these metal trash cans. Ooh, something was in it. <laughs> this is gonna maximize that vertical space. And I really like the Dollar Tree trash bags. The lemon is my favorite scent. What I like to do is set the entire pack in the bottom of the trash can. This is a really great way to collect lint. I can still get to everything easily, but chaos be gone. And I just wanna sing the praises of these magnetic hooks. They are really strong. It's awesome for little baskets if you wanna store extra change or things from your pockets, as well as your lint removers. These things are awesome too for a buck 25. These bins I've never liked. They just always fall down and they're just not, they're not the vibe. So I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff that we haven't used in a little while. The one thing that was free in this makeover, clean. Clean always feels more organized and it makes old items feel new. Sometimes when we approach our spaces with a scarcity mindset, it feels like we don't have everything we need. We wish we had something new, something better, something different, but where can you use what you already have? Everything in this space was either from the Dollar Tree or I thrifted it. I found this really cool cross stitch welcome sign and this old little basket was actually used for chips, but I decided to put it on the wall. Socks without a home, we now know where you go in this little Dollar Tree basket. And I found this little cross stitch at the thrift store along with some art. It gave it a really quick refresh fast. I was going for clear and open, but also simple. And I also wanted to let you know about the candles at Dollar Tree. I found some really cool ones that I really like. I always appreciate when I see real collected homes, things that people made work. I'm always getting inspired in store. Look at these pretty frames. I love this fold. I've been doing lots of gallery walls at home. This is so beautiful. They have this oval one, they have a square one. So look amazing in a laundry room. You could put a lot of different things on here. This is $1.25. What do we think of this? This is like a Starbucks dupe. I kind of like this one. Very pretty. Great gift idea. Look at these little pumpkin glasses. Aren't these cute? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really cute. I'm not here for fall stuff. See, I'm getting sucked in. I'm getting sucked in. It's so beautiful. And they come in clear. Okay, 
A or B? Let me know below. These are really cute. Christmas is out at Dollar Tree. This is like insane. Is it too early? Yeah, a little. We'll come back. We'll be back. So subscribe because we'll be back. Leave this video a thumbs up if you want more like it, my beautiful friend. If nobody has told you today, you are enough. I'll catch you soon. These over the do, do, these over the do. <laughs>